In this video, we're going to go over the steps on how to create and give your students access to Construct 3 using the access code method. To begin, you're going to want to make sure you're logged into your Construct 3 account. To do so, go to the Construct 3 website and click Log into account. If you don't have an account, be sure to register for one, and the instructions on how to do that are found in the Start Unit or Module of your course. So click on the Log Into Account button. From here, enter in your username and password and click Log In. Now that you're logged into your account, go ahead and hover over the account icon in the upper right hand corner, then click on Your Subscriptions under the Store section of the drop down. Now you can see that you have either an expired or active subscription. Depending on the status, if it is expired, please reach out to our team to let us know. If you have an active subscription, you're ready to move forward and create the access code using that subscription. So what we have here is an active subscription. So we're going to click view and edit. Now that you're on the subscription page, you can scroll down to the section that says create a time limited access code. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set the number of seats or users that can use this access code and the lifespan of the access code itself. So I'm going to go ahead and select one seat for this example. You may have 20 seats or maybe 100 seats depending on your class or the sections of your classes. So you'll select that from the drop down menu. And then for the lifespan of the access code, you're going to select how long do you want that access code to be in active code so that students can use it. I'm going to select three months because that's about the amount of time that students will be utilizing the Construct 3 software in the semester. But if you need additional time, you can create additional access codes. So once you have your seats selected and your access code lifespan selected, you're going to click Create Code. So after clicking that button, you can see that we have an active code here. That code will then be distributed to your students. So either print it off and hand it out, send it in an email, put it on your whiteboard, give that access code to your students so that they can use it for the upcoming steps. In this example, in this tutorial, I'm going to use this code as a student to go ahead and access Construct 3. So I'm simply going to just highlight this and copy it and log out of my teacher account to show how that process works. So now that I'm logged out of my teacher account, as a student, I'm going to go straight to the editor in Construct 3 and that link is provided. So once I'm here in the Construct 3 editor, all I'm going to do is click on the upper right hand corner under that account icon and select enter access code. So your students will then enter the access code into this field here. They can check the remember this access code and that's going to remember it on that device and then they're going to click OK. So they'll get a confirmation message and now they can start using all the features in Construct 3. So that is how we can use the access code method to give students timed access to the platform based on the number of seats you have requested for the, the use of the platform and the lifespan you've selected for the access code. Please be sure to check out our other tutorials on how to Use the other method, which is the seat method, to give access to Construct 3.